want to turn a, an inexpensive accent lamp like this into a 12 volt one? Me too. Stay tuned and we'll see if we can figure out how to do it. So what we'll need for this project are our lamp. I think this was, I don't know, like a maybe a five banger at Walmart. Cheap, five bucks. It's worth a go. So that. A low voltage Malibu light. Another, I think it was like, I don't know, three bucks or something. Um, and of course your assortment of pliers, probably need those. Wire nippers, need those. Screwdriver, of course, I always need one of those. And some batteries. These are AAA. Um, you can use, I think, any batteries as long as they are the same. Like, so if you start off with like AA batteries, and each battery is about uh, one and a half volts to two volts, whatever, and you want it to add up to 12 volts because that's the lighting that we're going to put in here. So, you know, if each, each of these, for instance, is two volts, then you would need six of these to make a, a 12 volt battery pack. And that's what we're going to run this off of, hopefully. So first order of business, open up your lamp. This is totally an experiment. I don't know if it will work. Um, I'm just going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, then I will just convert this back to a regular lamp and have a little lamp. The need low voltage light <clears throat> that we're sacrificing. That's what that looks like, and there's just you can see the one little SMD LED chip inside there. We'll have a look at the instructions. Patriot Lighting. Read, follow, and save these instructions. We won't be needing those. First order of business is to take this apart. Looks like a little concrete weight. It's not tight, how shocking. Let's see what we've got here. A little circuit board it looks like. The uh, SMD chip. These are meant to um, clip onto wiring for low voltage Malibu lights around your house. But I won't be using that. So I'll just nip those off. This is the piece all taken apart. It's just a little uh, circuit board. Looks like a, I don't know, maybe a capacitor or something there. Anyhow, looks like it'll fit really well into this piece, which used to house the socket for the regular incandescent or the, uh, you know, 110 bulb. The only reason I'm, I'm thinking that I might want to keep this assembly is just for the sake of putting a lampshade on here. Um, it, it wouldn't go real well on this little housing. I'd have to really modify something, I think. But if I can salvage this, oh yeah, look at that's like a perfect fit. So 
maybe I can create a space or a tube or something of some sort inside of here that will keep this little board elevated because if it's down in here you're not going to get much light out. I think if it lives up here it might be pretty good. We'll see what we can come up with. This might be just right. This is the stem that came with um, the Malibu light. Yeah. So I can drop that down in there and then just cut it off whatever length I need here. And I think that'll work. And that looks like it's going to fit in here just right. There's some kind of prongs in the bottom of this housing that it sits between. So I'm just going to um, make a little shim, you know, kind of on each side here, just so this center piece stays, stays stable. Again, not sure what I'm going to use. Um, maybe some closed cell foam or uh, even a little piece of styrofoam or something. It's not anything that gets hot, so I think just about anything will be fine. Okay, I found a piece of styrofoam. Nothing exciting, just a scrap of styrofoam from, I don't know, some project. Now, if you're concerned about a fire hazard or anything like that, don't do this project. Um, I'm just experimenting, just a chick on the internet experimenting, so if you're concerned about it or anything like that, don't do it. There. Alright. So, I don't know if you can see that. It keeps that center part nice and firm in there. These are each three bolts also, so I need fewer of them. Okay, so you stack all the coin cells, and that gives you a 12 volt battery. I'll do a better job at this in the final uh, assembly. Just kind of want to see if this will work. Goody! In this light, since there's no more switch here, I'm going to. We don't want to switch on the side of the lamp because that would look kind of dumb and plus every switch I have is way too big. So I have this little LED dimmer that also works as a uh, an on-off switch. Now I'm going to see if that will work. I can also hide this little guy in this base. Might as well get this glued together, getting to the point where I think it can stay, stay put. Just use a piece of masking tape here to clamp it real quick. Hopefully that will hold it in place while it dries. Okay, this is how I have the um, the battery cell made. It's the four coin cells run in series. Wrap electrical tape around to make sure they're real tight, and then you know they're marked positive and negative, so that's easy. And then the wires, like on this dimmer, it tells you that this goes to the battery side, and this side goes to the LED side. Then they're <clears throat> red and black. So the red goes to the positive, black goes to the ground, and I just wrapped electrical tape over them a few uh, layers thick, and hopefully that will be enough to uh, keep them secure. You know, a lamp's not going to get all jostled around or anything, it's just going to sit there. If I had one on hand, I would use this hole and put a little switch there, just a little 
on off button that would work good because it's you know it's got the wire channel there but I haven't got one on hand I made a little mistake in the order of putting things together I'm not gonna be able to use this washer because it won't slide over this I should have slid that on to this end of the wires and then put the battery pack together and all that but I didn't so we'll see if um, just this nut will hold the entire assembly together I've cut a little bit of a recess in that cement down there for the wiring. I don't know if it'll be deep enough, though. I might have to make it a little deeper. Okay. So, next is to, I'll probably solder these together, but I want to see if it works first. So far so good. Again, I'll solder these together right now. I'm just making sure it works. So there you have it. I'll just tape all this stuff down. Um, I think that will fit in right there fairly well. I'm just kind of sticking there. I might silicone it down inside that channel and then just run these around the other side like that. Maybe tuck them in the little gap there. I'm not sure yet, but I should be able to just, you know, get everything in there flush. Okay, here's the uh, final look over. Looks like a pretty stock lamp. Hope that lighting isn't too harsh so you can't see what's going on. Just tape the cords in place and turn it on. Just hit that. And it also acts as a dimmer. Let's see. Yeah, that's the brightest setting. So if you feel like totally geeking out on a project, there you go. Thanks for watching.